Hello traders, today I want to start with the dollar index. As you can see, as you can observe from the commitment of traders report on Friday, there was really a large increase in positions of hedge funds. The position raised more than 17%. The last one, such a strong rise of buys, was really a year ago, here, in this place. And afterwards, we saw all this long-term year rally. Moreover, if you open the COT index, you will find that funds and hedgers reached extreme divergence. 100% buys and here is 0%. The extreme divergence between funds and hedgers. In this case, I prefer to short, but I see that now small traders, this black line, are not as bullish as they have to be on the real market extremums. If they were on the one side with funds, it would be short, of course. But here, I think that the rally is not over. And we will see the continuation. We already saw the reaction from this imbalance, this HFT volume. But now I think that it is over and the price will go to break out the top. So other assets uh, that we will observe now will probably go downside. For example, if we watch on NASDAQ, here I see that funds and small traders uh, significantly increased their longs on the bottom of the market. And open interest also rose that week. We can see in disaggregated report how uh, non-reportable positions increased here by the 82%. On the current 15 minutes chart, we also see the rise of uh, cumulative delta and uh, here HFT's volume, but it is asks HFT's volume. After such pictures, there is a high probability that the trend will continue and the price will fall next week. Let's see euro. It is also has the potential for the downside movement. Due to expiration, funds closed all their long position. And it looks really strange because now we are on the weekly strong support. It is a really six year support. Why funds close their long position? Often hedgers like to buy from uh, weekly supports and uh, other significant supports, but uh, they always uh, break through in the meantime. So I expect uh, to sell the continuation of the euro trend that it will fall and break out its uh, minimums. If we look on gold, there is a peculiar picture. The price rejected option payouts level with HFT and uh, now it stopped on the uptrend line. But I think that gold also will continue its uh, downtrend and uh, it can fall even to the 1760 level on the daily chart of course it is uh, more long-term movement but locally i think we will see of course uh, the breakout and uh, the price will go down here also let's look on grains uh, previous week i told you about wheat there was a beautiful sell entry, then it was consolidation. Of course, uh, it, is, was, it was not a, a comfortable uh, range, but uh, in general, finally, the price went down and uh, it is now close uh, to my uh, target here. Also, I uh, told you about uh, soybeans. Uh, there was also a beautiful picture and uh, the price really went uh, lower. Here is it, daily chart. And uh, there is one asset, the only asset from grains that uh, haven't fallen yet is uh, corn. 
On Friday, it uh, closed uh, below the commercial level and also below the HFTs, uh, which were created uh, on the breakout of uh, this uh, maximum. And uh, also here we see close of options. Closed, uh, traders close their hedges. And uh, it happened after a good divergence of uh, volume delta and uh, quantitative delta. So I expect that uh, after this significant divergence, uh, uh, the price uh, will go to the first magnet level. It will be uh, 765. And uh, on daily charts, then the second magnet level is this uh, huge uh, open interest in options. This strike 700. It is important strike and the price can achieve it in the nearest future. And the last one I want to show you also um, one currency. It is uh, Swiss franc. Also, rather beautiful picture for correction uh, because uh, here very strong delta. Uh, you can see the divergence here and uh, also the ask HFTs. Uh, it is uh, my fourth strategy. After such pictures, the price often go down. And uh, so I think that uh, uh, here we can put uh, here after breakdown of this level, we will go lower and can go even to the uh, this cumulative delta level 1.0126. So finally, we have all the assets uh, sell and only dollar index, uh, I hope, will go to the upside. So traders, uh, if you are interested in such analysis, volume analysis, please uh, put the like button to support our project and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a nice Sunday, traders. Goodbye.